Hello there, it's Andy Galbert with Grey Tech again, and what we're going to be covering today is how you activate the Grey Tech Power Pack automatically using Group Policy if you're using standalone licenses. The previous video was for network licenses, so it's a slightly different procedure. So if we go into Group Policy, we're going to use the same policy we made before, again just for example. First thing you need to do is there is one additional MSI that we need to add, which is the license utility. So if we add a new package, I'm just going to point this at the share where I've stored the MSIs, and the one that we need to do is the GR Lake installer MSI. As before, select advanced deployment, advanced. No language when deploying package. That's that part done. The second part is if we go into Windows settings, just expand this out. There's a startup and sh well, it's a startup script that you put in the startup shutdown section. So if you double click on startup. I've actually got mine selected here, but if you didn't have that already in, what you would do is you'd go add, browse. This this folder will be unique each time, so you would you'd take a script that you'd got from Grey Tech prior to this, and just uh, copy it over into that folder. Select it. Okay. Okay. Apply. Okay. And that's all there is to it. Um, as with any group policy, again, you're going to have to run a GP update and let the machine reboot, especially with it being a startup script. But that would pick that license up and it will activate the client end automatically. Thank you.